for me, uh, Black Lives Matter. You know, the conditions are very different in UAE. You know, the, it was supposed to happen in India, but the conditions out there are far more hotter and humid, and and the uh, and the wickets and you know are going to be different. So for a bowler, you know, as it is, the format is very punishing. It's not an easy format to be in. So how do you look at this whole change in the conditions? Yeah, um, I guess that's why we have analysts as well, it's just to give us uh, an indication of the scores and generally that gives you an idea um, of how the wickets are going to play um, but also just general knowledge of you know the, the the climate here gives you an idea of how to play from both a batting and a bowling perspective and I guess you know having a feel for the practice nets um, they generally give you some sort of idea of how the middle uh, will play. Um, so, yeah, I guess it's just, uh, I mean, we, we, we have a, a good idea of, of, uh, of, what to, of what to expect, but uh, uh, you never know what's going to happen in the game. But I think as a professional, as professional cricketers, we uh, have a good idea of, of what's going to, what's, what's, what's going to happen. So in the game, it's just about adapting to, you know, whatever comes our way. What was the experience of the takeaway from the last season that you, for Delhi Capitals? You know, I mean, what do you see your role is? is uh, how do you, uh, what? How do you kind of define your role? Uh, one of the key to doing well in T20 format for any team or any player is to be very clear about the role that he has to play. Uh, you know, so how do you look at what are the takeaways for you and what are you going to bring in? Like, you know, the mindset that you are going to take in to help Delhi Capitals hopefully win the title this time. Um, to be honest, like why change something that has worked in the past? So we're going to come in with the same attitude, but it's just about how well the team gels together um, and performs together at the end of the day. Yeah, the mindset really is to win. I don't think anyone is coming with the mindset to lose. Um, but I think we've been gelling quite nicely as, as a team and that's what's the most important thing. We need to put together. We need to put together performances as a team uh, in order to 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 see yeah, to to go all the way in the tournament. Um, you know, one thing uh, uh, which I also asked in this question was about your own role. How do you look? What your role is like to be the leader of the pack as such? You know, be the main guy, the strike bowler, and and to you know to carry along the rest of the bowlers. Bowling unit with you. How do you look at your role? Um, my role is to try not to go for runs and to get wickets. <laughs> That's <laughs> my role. Yeah. <laughs> That's my role. Yeah, um, but um, there is one more thing. You know, I know this is a sensitive issue, but uh, the sports world has been taken over by it, and you know, in South Africa, legends. Uh, really you know spoke about it finally the, the black lives matter issue what have been your thoughts on that you know they took a knee together graham smith uh, and giri and antini and everybody kind of came out and spoke about it so your thoughts could you share with our readers what you think about this important issue yeah so i think i can speak for myself i'll speak for myself not for anyone no. else sure for me, uh, Black Lives Matter. And it has nothing to do with cricket. It's got nothing to do with sports. Black Lives Matter. It's got nothing to do with business. Just Black Lives Matter. And I will stand up for that. doesn't mean that um, I expect to get treated like royalty everywhere I go. But from a pride point of view and from uh, a dignity point of view, for me, Black Lives Matter. Um, if someone decides not to, so if someone decides to say black lives doesn't matter, then it's their opinion. But for me, black lives matter. 
thank you so much for that but what about have you had a chat with faf came out with a very emotive statement you know on social media also and he had a chat with other team members uh, regarding this whole issue um, have you had a your chat with various teammates about it and how has it been in south africa in the protest team yeah it's been a sensitive topic uh people have their views on it faf expressed his views on it um i know hashimamla expressed his views on it a lot of players did um so i expressed my views on it and my views are that black lives matter that's it mm-hmm. um mr michael holden just recently spoke in a very very passionate way about black lives matter and he said education is a very important thing to a, you know erase uh, racism uh, in all walks of life do you think do you agree with him do you think that is one way to approach uh, in uh, eradicating this horrible horrible phenomena of racism and inequality say that again say that again mr michael holding just spoke with, during the england australia series about how education is important to educate people it's important uh, to help eradicate racial discrimination and racism uh in various parts of the world so what are, do you agree with him do you think that's one way of kind of uh, you know doing away with this horrible issue of racial discrimination yes 100% i think uh racism comes from somewhere um it doesn't just come about it doesn't come by a mistake um racism is expressed in uh many ways uh there are reasons why people are racist um so i think it's just about understanding that and that's how you free yourself and then that's how you can make an informed decision and not just do something because someone else is doing it i think is to do what makes sense to you and the only way is through education um and not you know from false news but from news that that is credible and i feel that's the best way people can make uh good decisions uh well not good decisions informed decisions um where they don't just go with with the flow one last thing on that matter uh, if you're asked to would you be keen on taking the knee or making a point during the ipl to spread the issue of the black lives matter I've already expressed that uh so people know where I stand but if they say we must then we'll do it uh but yeah for me black lives matter mm. uh one thing kagizo uh, you know bowling in the death overs um how would you look at it how has it changed over the last couple of seasons in IPL you know uh how have bowlers adapted to it and how have you adapted to it and what are what are some of your thoughts on you know going into the season about bowling at the death and kind of uh, that has become one of the most crucial key uh, moments or even during the power plays so how do you look at you know these these extremely key moments in t20 format for a bowler for a fast bowler bowling at the death you want to try and restrict the batters um or you want to get wickets or you want to do both but generally it's one or the other so you just need to find ways to do it <laughs> <laughs> but what what is it that um you have kind of coming into the IPL because this is after a long break this big tournament is happening due to the covid lockdown and everything you know what are what are your aims what are you planning to take from this IPL what do, what is it that you want to get out of this tournament for yourself apart from of course winning it for dc well for for dc to win i need to make sure that i'm hitting my straps because um if i'm hitting my straps then uh, i believe that the team will be in a i can put the team i can yeah, increase the chances of the team winning and that goes back to what i was telling about the team dynamics if everyone mm-hmm. performs uh, as a team then we give ourselves the best chance um and so really i'm trying to uh perform as well as i can in order to put the team in in winning positions mm-hmm. uh that's generally how you do it and as a player you want to come and you want to play well 
So, you know, you come to a tournament, you know, with goals to play well. And you understand if you do play well, you play close to your best on a consistent basis, uh, the chances of your team winning are, are high. Mm -hmm. So um, I think that's everyone's attitude, really. What are your dynamics with a young captain like Shreya Sahir? Because he's young. He's, he's obviously been made in charge uh, uh, you know, of, of a team which includes many seasoned, uh, experienced players. So how, how are your dynamics with him? Could you just share a little bit about that? Um, yeah, it's, it's quite, it's, I've, I've been, I've known him since under 90. So we played together, uh, or played against each other and then played together at, uh, Delhi Capital since 2016. Yeah. So it's quite cool. We're the same age. Um, and yeah, we tend to keep in touch. Uh, we saw each, uh, each other at the NBA All-Stars weekend in Chicago. So that was quite cool. So I think uh, we have a relationship off the field and it goes quite a long way back. So mm -hmm. it's a familiar face for me. And um, I think he's he's done well as a captain so far. And uh, he's he's a good player. Um, he's playing for, for the Indian team at the moment as well. And he's just a solid player um, and an uh, interesting guy. <laughs> okay. And, um, you know, if you look at this IPL, um, it's going to be a very long tournament. And you're going to be in the bubble for... A, all the players are going to be in the bubble for a long time. Like I said, it won't be like a normal tour that you can step out and just on off day, just kind of, you know, relax and go out, meet people or just uh, spend some time out. So mentally, how challenging will that be for you as a player? How challenging do you expect it to be like, you know, in total isolation? The only guys you're going to be seeing are your teammates. That's fine. So I don't, you know, the reason why we came here um, is because uh, we came here to play cricket. Uh, that's what you must remember. Um, and we're actually grateful to be doing what we're doing because so many people around the world are losing their jobs. Um, and we have the opportunity to come and earn an income, better yet, doing what we love. So we should be incredibly... Oh, I speak for myself. I'm incredibly grateful to be in such a situation. So, I mean, it is a bummer that we can't go out and explore Dubai, especially such a, a country, such a unique uh, country like Dubai. But at the end of the day, there are too many blessings to count than uh, all the, I guess, the cons of being in the bubble. Thank you so much for this, uh, uh, Kizu, and all the very best.